Hey, are you Jay Marwood? Yeah, I'm I'm Jane. Hey, looking for Jane Marwood. Anyone? Anyone? Looking for Jane Marwood. Hello. Anyone? Anyone? I, Hello. I'm, I'm right here for goodness sake. Oh, hey, Reg Blake. So I gathered. Excuse me. Kim didn't tell me how pretty you are. Thank you. Oh, almost forgot. <sighs> Isn't this place cool? Hey, did you try the sausage? Um, what is that for? I'll let you know in five minutes. So, where'd you meet Kim? At the beach. Um, I was doing a research project and she helped me find something. Now, could you- Yeah, Kim digs the beach. I'm sorry, but that ticking is driving me crazy. Oh, that's what. So, what was the something you were looking for? This is too weird. What is the timer for? Three more minutes. Hang in there, you're doing fine. I am not doing fine. Why are you timing me? Research project. What are you researching? How to make people crazy? How come you're not married? You have known me for three minutes. How could you ask that? The sooner we tackle the compulsories, the sooner we get to the main event. Main event? Did you grow up here in Los Angeles? <laughs> Definitely. Oop, there we go. Well, is it time? It's time. I'm all ears. Do you want to go to bed with me? Are you alright? Uh, looks like you're not breathing. No, I'm, I'm fine. It's just... I'm fine. I could have sworn that you said... Do you want to go to bed with me? <gasps> oh! Come on, breathe. Uh. Breathe. In. Out. No! It's okay! Check! Please! Waiter! You paid at the counter. What? You already paid. So, does, does this mean your answer is no? Would I go to bed with you? Of course it's a no. How could you even think... And what was the thing with the timer? It's common knowledge that a woman decides how far she'll go with you within five minutes of meeting you. And this is your little scheme to save time. Oh, saves money too. Think of all those pricey dinners that I'll never have to spring for. All those tedious Pratt Pitt movies that I'll never have to sit through. I hadn't made my mind up about you at all until you posed that asinine question. I understand. You're not interested. Do you really think any woman would ever say yes? Uh, look, I gotta be somewhere. I'll see you around. You have to be somewhere? I gotta be at Starbucks at 8, and if I'd only right now... We had a date! We did have a date, and it was nice. And now I have to go. That was no date. If you only last five minutes on a date, how long do you last in bed? I thought you weren't interested. It just doesn't make any sense. You told Kim you and I were going out to dinner. What's the point? Who's your eight o'clock date with? I haven't met her yet. Another blind date? You scheduled two blind dates for one evening? Actually, three. What are you? Practical. You're revolting. Can I go? What would you do if I were to say I would sleep with you? Not that I ever would. I'd stay. We'd have dinner, talk, then I'd see you around. <sighs> After you cooked me breakfast, right? Not on the first date. You asked me to sleep with you. I asked if you wanted to sleep with me. What's the difference? I don't want a one night stand. I'm sensitive. And what about the girl you were supposed to meet at 8? You'd just stand her up? I told her if I'm out there by 8.15, she should just take off. Won't she be hurt? Hope not. What about the third girl? What would you do about her? I already met her at 6.30. Oh, she didn't work out? Nah, she was great. We had a ball. Well, did you ask her your little question? Never got around to it. We totally hit it off, and before you knew it, it was time to go. Well, if you were having so much fun, why didn't you just stay with her? I wanted to meet you. Oh. I heard so much great stuff about you that I really wanted to meet you. But she might have said yes to going to bed with you. I didn't care. The fact that you would ask me such a question and not her is very insulting. You're right. You could really hurt a girl's feelings. Yeah, good thing she'll never find out. I am talking about my feelings. I don't follow you. Asking me that and sparing her insults me. But I didn't want that with her. How does that insult you? You didn't want to sleep with her? I knew it as soon as I saw her. Oh, she wasn't attractive? Just wasn't my type. But I, I thought all men I have standards. We're gonna meet for racquetball. Why do you do the stupid timer thing? It's expedient. It puts women off. Well, not all women. I'm a woman and it put me off. You're like this rampaging cliche of the male pig. I'll stay, I'll stay. I never asked you to stay. 
You never answered my question. I told you I will not go to bed with you. Why aren't you married? No one ever asked me. I nail it down in five minutes. You could apologize for asking that. Okay, I'm sorry for thinking you're attractive. A gentleman does not ask a lady, do you want to go to bed with me? Well then how will the gentleman and lady have little ladies and gentlemen? He doesn't ask it five minutes after meeting her. He's supposed to wait five dates? That explains why you aren't married, which is sad. What's sad? You have some really great qualities. If only you were more diplomatic. So you consider going to bed with me? No, of course not. Don't be silly. Okay, make me diplomatic. I don't want to keep you from your next date. She can wait. In the first five minutes, a woman does not decide how far she'll go with a man in bed. What's she doing? Thinking of ways to improve me? She's deciding whether or not you're somebody she could marry. That's sick! Oh. What's that? You gotta take a pill? I just needed to see something. See what? Oh, nothing. What's the alarm for? I had to see if I could stand you for 15 minutes. And if you couldn't? I would have left. But you can't stand me. I lost track of time. You're ready to kill me. I haven't yet. You were testing me? How cynical. My test only lasted five minutes. Mine was much more humane. Did I pass? You did. How? I have no idea. Nobody has ever passed before. But you've been on lots of dates. All hellish experiences. Kim told me you were with one guy for a year. That was to keep two other guys off my back. Do you want to have dinner sometime? Do you? I guess so. Maybe. Great. Cool. I'll give you a call. You're leaving? I'm going to try to catch the Starbucks girl. I said I'd call you. I haven't given you my phone number. I got it from Kim. If you want my number, ask me for it. Okay, shoot. You're gonna write it on your hand? Sure. You're gonna meet some girl with another girl's phone number on your hand? How's that gonna look? Pretty bad, huh? If you want my phone number, I'll give it to you in... three minutes. I'm Mr. Starbucks girl. Life involves sacrifice. Hey, let me borrow your cell phone. You're being unreasonable. Any reasonable girl would have been out of here long ago. I've simply been blessed with severely impaired judgment. Do you bowl? I do not. <laughs> Me neither. How about... Hey, what sounds like fun to you? Well... They just opened an insect zoo at the museum downtown. Insect zoo? Yeah, that's a terrible idea. I love insects. You do? In college, I took every entomology course they had. You're lying. That's what Kim helped me find at the beach, sand fleas. Has any girl ever told you she would go to bed with you after five minutes? Well... No. Five, five, five. Use a napkin. Five, 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 three, six, seven, five. Three, six, seven, five. Great. <laughs> Are you serious? You want, you want to go to the Bug Zoo? Unless you prefer the opera. Bug Zoo. <laughs> Do you want to order some pizza? Do you like pepperoni? Sausage. Good, because I hate pepperoni. <laughs> Olives? And mushrooms. Great. <laughs> this, is, this is great. Bug Zoo? Bug Zoo. Bug Zoo.